bias? So bias is like when you um, make a decision kind of for the wrong reason. You know, like, uh, and in particular, in hiring people for a company, it's a big problem. Because often, without realizing it, we see somebody's profile and we're like, ah, uh, they don't look good, you know? And we don't necessarily think why it is that we don't like them. And often we like them, we don't like them, or we do like them for the wrong reasons, you know? Such as, you know, gender, skin color, uh, but even things like their name, religion, all these things enter into it. So we made this game to kind of, to play with that idea. So we have, um, you, ha you play with a bunch of people around a table, and you're trying to make a decision together to hire someone or not. And, um, and uh, each person has a secret bias that they have on a card. So maybe one card is like, I don't hire women. Or another one is, I don't want uh, Muslims or something like that. And so each person has to try to hide what their bias is and at the same time make sure that they don't hire someone who's not the right thing. Hello. Um, and Pirate Partage, which we can also show you tonight, that's what you were seeing earlier with the, uh, with the cutting. Um, so this game started out at a game jam. Have you ever, you guys know what game jams are? It's a bit like a hackathon, but for games. So like, usually, for the way we do it is we go somewhere for a weekend, and we try to, and you have like one weekend to like come up with an idea for a game, form a team, and make a game by the end of the weekend, which is you know super fun. It's really challenging, but it's really exciting too because you're you know you have the chance to kind of take on an idea that you wouldn't normally do because, and you don't have time to mess around. You just have to like work, 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 and at the end of the weekend you show off your game. It's a lot of fun. So this actually came from a game jam we did on diversity. Uh, and we had the idea that we would have different people uh, exchanging coins, except each player has a different handicap. So one player can't see, one player can't hear, one player can't talk, and one player uh, has to use chopsticks or something or a hook instead of their hands. And this actually worked really well. Um, so in the more recent version uh, that we can show you tonight, Radhika has done lots of really great stuff to make these really nice props. And we'll, we'll talk about what we changed in a minute. In fact, she will talk about what we changed. So I'll turn it over to Radhika now. Oh, you're done. Oh, okay. So just uh, forward there? Yep. Okay. So this is a Fab Lab in Paris, a uh, maker space in Paris. If you can see, it's like super small compared to here. Uh, so it's not as, yeah. <laughs> This is a photo. We don't have photo for the laser cut, but it's just half the size of this machine. Um, yeah. So pirate passage, uh, the uh, the initial um, the initial uh, prototype, as Jesse mentioned, it had excellent gameplay. But the but when when I was uh, hired for it, the problem was there was no theme. In the sense that we had bowls for. Uh, uh, instead of treasure chest and uh, basically there was no theme and you didn't feel like you were a pirate. So I, I so w what I brought in was uh, one considered theme, what, what exactly theme we want. So I, so my idea and and also the thing was the pirate for that has to be a hybrid game. They said one part is a board game and other part is an application. So we had to have a theme and both the things should uh, you know match. So this is, I don't know whether you can see but this is the application. I mean, in the sense you, you can start, uh, you can do, you can pass around, and you can click and stuff. So the thing is, we uh, the material I chose was um, wood and uh, wood and uh, stone. So the uh, so the stone part was for the application, and uh, but the wood part was here. So, um, so these are the treasure chests. Uh, so I designed the box. I designed the. Uh, yeah, the box and also the, the pattern and everything. So this was the treasure chest and then we have the cards. So these are the cards the player, they play with these cards. And these are also wood, they are painted wood. Uh, and, and we have four sets of cards, they are differently painted. Because uh, when you are playing the game, you have to be super fast in giving these cards. So earlier, uh, you know, we just had uh, we just had wood cards, and we realized that it was really difficult. Uh, you know, when somebody wanted A3, had to go through uh, all the cards and give A3. So we uh, painted them differently. So four sets of cards had four uh, different colors. So that is uh, the thing. What else is there on? Um, yeah, and also for the props, for the eyes and the the mouth. Okay. 
So I made these masks with everything is uh, do it yourself thing. We didn't buy anything. So I made these uh, masks. So this is laser cut, and then I stitched the mask. And so it was really great fun. I learned how to stitch. Uh, so this was this. So this is for the eyes. So the, so the uh, player who is uh, blind, we put the mask like this. And then for the mouse, you have this. So we bought. This is the only thing we bought actually. That uh, so we made the mask, and then we uh, stitched the mouth. And what else? And we have props for the hands. So this is the chopstick thing. Yeah. So we thought chopsticks was a, was a good option because uh, in the application at one point of time you need to you are under attack and you and there is a tactile uh, intervention. So if you had hooks and things like that, it didn't work. Uh, so Jesse came with the idea of using uh, metal chopsticks. So it worked, but it was still not top. And so we had this. Uh, this is what a pen. That's like a stylus, I think. It's a stylus, and we just took the you know the the rubber part. So the guy who doesn't have uh, hands, he can come and uh, click. So this is it. Uh, and for scoring also, uh, we realized that later on people they didn't just uh, you know fin they they preferred to have score in the end, and they wanted a scoring system. So for that, uh, basically the application was made because uh, on on board game it was very difficult to keep account. So that's the thing. So. So anybody has questions on Pirate Pathaj? Wants to know more or how to? I didn't go very technical. Okay. Yeah. Yes. All the designs are on the net. Everything. I don't think it's on the app store yet, but we will put it up. And uh, and everything is open source. Everything is up on um, all the code is up on GitHub, and the designs are also going to be put up there. Yeah. So, so you can see these are the boxes. So, in, uh, in real, uh, then you have the cards and the chopsticks. We are making it in our fab lab. So, the so what was the um, uh, software uh, one used? So, you had Illustrator to create the designs, and then uh, InDesign was used because InDesign was used to create the um, uh, the what do you say the um, the card the cards. Because actually the thing goes, so here is if you don't, this, this is an icon for uh, for the player who doesn't see, because this is the mask, and uh, he is supposed to give the player who can't hear, so the headphones, uh, three uh, diamonds, and this guy in exchange has to give uh, three rum bottles. So for this we used InDesign to create the whole uh, the whole cards instead of you know doing it uh, one by one. I won't go into detail; it's super boring. Uh, can I just say one thing about it? Yes. So the thing is, when you have lots of cards, it's the same thing over and over again, right? You don't want to do it by hand. So we, we wrote a, a, in InDesign, you can import uh, you know, a CSV file, and you say, like, show this image, show this image, show this image. And you tell it exactly which images you want and what text. And when you load it in, uh, it can then generate all the designs for you. Uh, it didn't work great. Really. It didn't work, that's all right. It works. It, it was, you know, not always perfect. There were a lot of little imperfections. But it worked overall. So, yes. So I, I would write like a Python script that would generate all the cards, that would generate a CSV, and Radhika then took the CSV into uh, InDesign and generate all the card designs. And then from there, we did the laser card. Yeah. OK. So this is the mobile app, but well, you saw it in, uh, in real. Um, <coughs> so yeah, so again, the same theme of uh, stone and wood, uh, which was respected also in the application. Uh, then it's pin my state. Uh, so these are the cards. In initially, pin my state, we had lots of cards for each uh, state. And again, we had the same problem of shuffling. So then we came up with the idea of booklet because it's easier to handle. You know, when the, uh, when the game moderator is doing the game, it's easier uh, in a booklet rather than, you know, have like 36, 37 states with 11 units, 36. 36 uh, cards with recipes was a really complicated logistic. So we came up with a booklet idea. So these are the cards uh, I designed with the um, with the theme of diversity. So you, so I just go really fast uh, about what these cards they say. So this is um, this is the cards with different uh, you know dance forms in India. Uh, this is the uh, various animals we find in India. This is the different languages of India. So, I is written in every language. 
Uh, these are the musical instruments. This is the spices we find in India. This is the costume we find in India. So the idea, was, the theme was how to represent the di diversity we have uh, in India. Snails. Huh? Snails. Sorry? Snails. Oh yeah, snails. <laughs> I didn't. Okay. Then also, uh, uh, these are the answer cards. I'll just go through why I use snails. Besides the fact that I love snails. I mean, having them, not eating them. Uh, snails, why I like snails is because uh, they're super cool animals. Because they have two kind of slimes. So one slime is, uh, you know, slime is the thing they, they secrete. So one slime is protects their body because they are, you know, they are very fragile uh, if you take out their shell. And the second is it helps them in the movement. So, you know, they, they can uh, pass the obstacles and things. So which reminded me a bit like India in the sense that, uh, and also the fact that uh, snails, they are um, hermaphrodites. They don't have sex. They change sex according to the circumstances. So which is good, which means gender equality. I don't see uh, male females at all, which is true. I mean, it's not being hermaphrodite. It means that for them, male and female is not a. <laughs> you can laugh. Don't 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 hide your. <laughs> you can laugh if you want. It's a free word. Um, second thing is that you know even if you are uh, you have obstacles like Indian, they have in India we have a lot of constraints. We have a lot of problems. Even besides all this, we are, you know, we have this uh, energy and this movement to be together and move ahead. Like the snails have a lot of con constraints. So this, this is the concept. That's why I brought in snails. And you have fishes everywhere. Because one is from the tribal art we have in India, Madhubani. So the whole concept, actually, the whole idea was to reinterpret. My, my base idea was to reinterpret Madhubani paintings, but bring it in to show diversity in India. So you can see a bit of tribal art uh, here. So uh, why I chose uh, fishes is because uh, every civilization starts near us, near the river or a sea with, with, with fish. So that was the concept like India, Indus Valley civilization. And so to bring the fact that, you know, India is an ancient civilization. And uh, uh, so we have like progress since then. So that's why it's now you know why we, there is fishes here and snails, fishes and snails. Okay. Uh, okay, so this, uh, so this is the, uh, yeah. So this photo is for inspiration for the map. Like we took inspiration and said, okay, how do, we, how do we bring in the map of India so that people can play? So the idea was how can we pin stuff so people can play? So, the, so we thought of the chalkboard and then we looked uh, Google to find uh, inspiration, how, how we can interpret that. So this is a cool image we found. Uh, so this was the inspiration for our popo here. And this, and then for, to facilitate um, easy, uh, to find easily the states in India, we divided it into different zones. You know, north, east, west, so this was uh, just like this. So we have all the states alphabetically order the place you have north, east, west, south. Like this. You can move here. Yes. Uh, yeah. So that's it from my side. Are there any questions you have regarding design, any comments, anything? Everything is welcome. Which ball? Oh, this, 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 this is uh, the second person. So if you have any question, no, it's okay. So first of all, thank you everybody for to be here. I am Suvi from ZMQ and we, we are uh, partnering with Kuri as a